developing story in Cobb County. We're hearing from a gun store owner who police say opened fire on two armed masked men who tried to rob his store. The shootout left one of the men dead and the other remains on the run tonight. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell joins us live from Mableton. Marissa, that store owner told you he keeps a gun on his side? Yes, and those armed robbers evidently did not think of that when they chose to hit this store on Veterans Memorial Highway. In fact, you can still see some of the damage left behind where one bullet shattered this glass right in front of the building. Now, I spoke with that store owner tonight, and he tells me he's been in business some 30 years, and he has never seen this coming. I hate that it happened. I don't want anybody to lose their life. It was a sad but necessary reaction for Jimmy Groover. The owner of Dixie Gun and Pond says two armed mass robbers left him no choice but to shoot. They said, get down on the floor, get down on the floor, I'll kill you. He shot at me. I had no, I didn't have any other choice. That split decision ended the life of one of the would-be thieves. Police say the other armed man got away in a silver Dodge Magnum. I've been there 30 years. Thing like it's never happened. I never wanted this to happen, but I will go home at night too. That trip home came after several hours of police investigating the scene on Veterans Memorial Highway. Officers roped off a large portion of the shopping center. Fox 5 was there as Groover and his friends looked on. Maybe it's the wrong thing happened, but it's a shame. And now this business owner has to repair damage as he copes with the fatal robbery attempt that happened in his store during the holidays. I hate it. I really do. I hate it. I hate it bad. It's a tragedy for everybody. And the store owner turned over surveillance video of the incident to police. And again, officers say the other armed robber left the scene in a silver Dodge Magnum. Now, this is not the only tragedy the store owner has dealt with within the last year. I'll explain what makes this incident even more troubling for him coming up on Fox 5 News Edge at 11. For now, that's the latest here in Cobb County. Marissa Mitchell, Fox 5 News. All right, Marissa, thank you so much. We'll see you then.